Good morning everyone, this is John AE5X and it is May 27th, 2018, almost 11 o'clock in the morning local time. And um, the setup that I have here is something that I received in the mail yesterday. This is a wideband noise generator from uh, the low kilohertz region up to around 3 to 3.5 gigahertz. And I'm feeding that into a step attenuator with no attenuation currently dialed in. And the output of that is going to my SDR receiver, which is an RSP Duo. And I'm looking at that on a laptop running SDR Uno. The noise generator is on. And I've got a center frequency here of uh, 2.3 megahertz, 2300 kilohertz. And the span that I'm looking at goes to the top of the AM from the top of the AM broadcast band up to almost the 80 meter band. And the reason I'm looking at that is I want to characterize this filter. This is a an AM broadcast band reject filter with the cutoff frequency labeled at 2.6 megahertz. I want to put it in line here and see what that does to the noise that I'm injecting into the receiver and find out exactly where the cutoff frequency is and how much attenuation it offers below 2.6 megahertz or below the cutoff frequency wherever it turns out to be. Anyway, uh, there's no attenuation currently dialed in on the attenuator and I want to put some in and just see what that does. Put a known amount of attenuation in and see what that does to the noise level here. So my noise level currently is 44 dB let me put in 20 dB of attenuation. And that goes down to 64 dB. So exactly as expected. All right, let me break the line here and uh, take the attenuation out first. And put the filter in series. And we'll see what that does to the noise. As you can see, it's pretty much level from 1500 kilohertz up to 3000 kilohertz. So let's see what happens when I put the filter in. Okay, I've got the filter in line now and you can see the trace looks a uh, bit different. The lower frequencies are in fact attenuated um, but not at 2600 kilohertz as the label suggests. Uh, but that's okay. So at 20 400, my noise level is about 50 dB, and here I started being attenuated down to 77, 78 dB. So I'm getting almost 30 dB of attenuation with this filter, and it begins at about 2200 kilohertz and is completed or down to its maximum at 1900. So I would call this a 22 or a 2.2 megahertz cutoff uh, filter instead of the labeled 2.6. But anyway, I just wanted to show kind of a, a handy way of using just about any SDR receiver. It doesn't have to be the RSP Duo, any of the other RSPs, the 2, the 1, the 1A, or the, uh, the AirSpy um, receivers would do the same thing. So it's a neat way of, uh, of looking at a filter. And later, I want to look at the filters in my Ultimate 3S. Those are bandpass filters. I've got six of them in there. And uh, this would provide a neat way of adjusting those filters by manipulating the windings on the coils, either compressing or expanding them to, um, to tweak exactly where the filter is. And it would also be neat to see what the bandwidth of the filters are, the 6 dB and the 60 dB bandwidth of those filters. But anyway, this is a cheap way of using um, an SDR receiver to look at filter characteristics. And the noise generator, like I said, it was from an eBay, in, eBay vendor in China. And it was, uh, I think, $15 or, or $14, something like that. Very cheap. And it just, like I said, provides a way to use an SDR receiver as a piece of test equipment. Anyway, 73, and thanks for watching.